Hello everyone, thanks for being here to listen to my story today. Do you ever have to pay for something with your own money? When you want to buy something, there's always a cost to having that thing, right? Let's think about cost. For instance, think about how, you, how much you would be willing to pay from your own money for an ice cream cone. How about if you wanted a special toy that lots of your friends have? Your parents said you had to pay for it with your own money. Is it worth it? Could you pay the cost of that toy? Cost doesn't always have to do with money though, does it? If you want to learn to play the piano, you do have to pay money to get a piano to practice on, but you also have to give up playing with your friends a little bit so that you can go to lessons and practice every day. If you want to play a sport, you have to buy the equipment, that costs money, but you also give up some free time to go to practices and you have to work very hard to get good at your sport, don't you? Let's think a little bit more about cost. Let's break down the cost of something that would be wonderful, but we'd really need to consider the cost before we do it. Let's say you really wanted a puppy. First of all, there's a cost to get a puppy. Puppies cost money, maybe $500 even. Would you be willing to give up that much of your money? Would you be willing to do extra chores to earn that money? And what about the other costs? Now, ex for example, your puppy would need food and treats. She'd need a collar and a lease so that you could go and walk her and lots of other supplies as well. Plus, you'd need the cost of time because your puppy would need to be walked every day, even when it's really hot and when it's really cold outside. You need to take time to clean up after your puppy, to brush her fur, and you'd have to use your own money to take the puppy to the vet any time she got sick. Owning a pet is wonderful, but there is the cost not only of money, but time and effort, and sometimes even sacrificing what we want to make sure that our puppy is safe and well cared for. In the Bible, Jesus talked about something a way much more wonderful and amazing that has a cost. Jesus told his friends, the disciples, that if they wanted to follow him, they'd need to think about the cost. But before we think about the cost, let's think about the reasons someone would want to be Jesus' disciple. Being Jesus' follower is an important and special job, but Jesus said there's a cost to think about. He said his disciples would have to make him the most important person in their lives, more important than their family and their friends. He also said people might make fun of them or hurt them just for being his followers. Being a follower of Jesus isn't always easy, but you know what? It's always the very best thing we can choose for ourselves. He just wants us to know there's a cost to living a life as Jesus' follower, and that's taking up our crosses. Let's take a moment now and talk to God. Dear God, it's easy to say that we want to follow Jesus, but it isn't always easy to do. Help us to follow him, whatever the cost. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for being here to listen to my story today. See you next time. Bye.